Hello and welcome to the 21st Excel tutorial from IT Army and in this tutorial we're gonna talk about the proofing and research tool so let's get started. Okay once you have prepared your workbook you may need to share your workbook with your colleagues or business partners or customers so apart from checking your spellings are correct so apart from checking your data is correct and the formulas are correct you may also need to verify that all the spellings are spelled correctly. So in this video I'm going to talk about some tools for spell checking. So these tools are all available in review and then you're gonna find we have spell checking. Now this spell checking tool is nothing unique to Microsoft Excel. We have available in all MS Office line applications, but the only difference is that Microsoft Excel doesn't flag the spell checking with red line as you get with other applications. So now let's start, F7 is the shortcut for spell checking. So saying that this thing is not in the dictionary and it's giving some suggestions so you can ignore it. You can ignore all the occurrences of this word in the document or you can say just add it to the dictionary. If you keep frequently getting same word in all other workbooks, so better to add this, so you can click on add. And then this way you can keep on adding all the words to the dictionary. Then we have option over here in case if you found that this suggestion, you have misspelled the name and this is the correct suggestion, you can say I want to change it or you can change all the occurrences. Or you can also add this word to the autocorrect, so in future whenever you will type this word, it will automatically convert to this word. Then we have options over here. When I click on that, we have a bunch of different options for fixing autocorrect. And then we have option for custom dictionary. All those words you have added, they get added to the dictionary. And anytime you can come back and edit the words, you can delete some items, you can delete all the items, and you can add new words also. So this is the location. You can go there. It's a plain text file. You can open in Notepad and also you can modify that. So that was all about the dictionary. So this is how we can manage the spell checking. The other option is we have thesaurus. When I click on that, so it's basically giving you synonyms and antonyms. So if I select on any word and when I click on thesaurus, it's going to give you the synonyms and antonyms. So you can see over here we are getting different options. And some of them, they are antonyms also. And in case if you want to replace the word, you can just simply right click and you can say insert and this word will get inserted. The other option is we have for smart lookup. So if you want to look for something online, suppose I want to search for paper, I can say smart lookup and it's going to search online. So you can see it's giving you words from Bing, some images you'll be getting, some articles, some links to the articles. It's all powered by Bing. The other option is when I press the Alter key and click on any word, then it's going to give you the research. Research is basically some online dictionaries. It's going to search this word appliance. Online dictionaries, you're going to see the list of all. And then also we have option over here for translation. So you can translate from English to other bunch of languages. And it's giving you the, it's giving you the translation over here. So these are the different tools that you can use in Microsoft Excel for proofing. Hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.